Uh-huh. Actually, it is a, a disciplinary of uh, engineering subjects uh, that may relate to the uh, construction as well, some types of operating, designing that involves to uh, help or to asset the human beings in their daily lives. Okay, you are quite close to the original definition. Basically, it is the branch of technology that deals with the design, construction and op- uh, operations. Uh, and also the application and computer systems for the control, sensory feedback and information processing. Basically, robotics is an alternate of a human being or a replacement for a human being. Uh, it also has some uh, controls, some sensors and information processing. A human being uh, is also somewhat like the same. We have some sensors from which we take an input, our brain which processes that input and gives some output. A robot is also same thing. So this is the definition of robot, an automatic device that performs function normally ascribed to human as a machine in the form of a human. Human also does the same thing. It also perform all tasks automatically with some processing and uh, thinking. Uh, defined by Robotic Industry Association, a reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move material, something which can be reprogrammed which is multifunctional, have some manipulators, some actuators or motors, which can move some material, parts, tools, or specialized devices through variable program motion for a variety of tasks. This is a robot. This is the definition of a robot. Anything which is reprogrammable, multifunctional, and manipulated design. So uh, if you are seeing a car with some motors and uh, some controller, which can be reprogrammed, this will be uh, categorized as a robot. So uh, before going into robotics, there are three laws of robotics, uh, which tells uh, what a robot can do and what a robot cannot do. So the law one is a robot may not injure human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm unless this would violate a higher order law. robot cannot uh, injure or attack a human being. This is the first law of robotics. If you are making any machine, if you are designing anything, you should make sure that it should not injure or it should not attack a human being. Second law, a robot must obey orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the higher order law. A robot should always obey the orders given by a human being. It should not uh, perform anything by itself. And the third law is a robot must protect its own existence. It should be able to protect itself from anything which is trying to harm it until and unless the law is not conflicting with the higher order law until and unless uh, it's not harming any human being or uh, it's not uh, taking orders from someone. So these are the three laws of robotics. If you are building any machine, any robot or anything which uh, which is in category of robotics, you should make sure that these three laws uh, are fulfilled. Next is robotics technology. Most industrial robots have at 